Hey, man, welcome to True Backstage and Road Stories. So, guess what? I got, I got headphones. Now, they're not elaborate headphones or anything nice. They're actually from Walmart for $10. So, it helps me hear what I'm saying, and then I keep looking over at the graph and there are they're a lot better trust me so i can if i'm getting away from the mic i can see i know i'm too far away now because i can hear over there i couldn't so but anyway a lot of people have asked me to do some more skinner so i am going to do another skinner for you people that enjoy it so much so i want to thank you for being here and you know if you're not subscribed please do and all that good stuff so guess what i got and it's that time i'm gonna pull up a pass but i already i already have a pass pulled so this is a you can barely see it i know i don't know what happened but if i was to guess what happened why it's so faded is because I remember I used to take all these passes and I used to hang them on Christmas tree hooks. And I, I would decorate my Christmas tree with all my passes. Those were my ornaments. So I'm thinking one of them bulbs got a little too close to this and made it fade. That's what I'm thinking happened because I know it wasn't out in the sun. But anyway, it says Tribute 87. So, as most of y'all know, the plane crash was in 77. But this says, and it's hard to read, but it says, 10 years later, the music continues. Leonard Skinner. And then it says, uh, I, I can't read. I think it's just the names of the band. And then it's uh, at the bottom... It says the Rosington Band. So I'm guessing, I don't know, that was before or after Rosington Collins. I don't know. But I do know when I got this pass, and I'll never, ever forget when I got this pass. Um, it was 10 years later. <clears throat> Excuse me. It was at the Summit in houston texas and the summit was just a, a venue it's now lakewood church but this summit when they did this it was a, a reunion 10-year reunion tour they did well i went to the show and they gave me this pass let me come backstage and while they were on stage the remaining members of skinner and Alan was still alive, I believe, then. And I was sitting on the side of the stage, like right behind the speaker stack. I was, If you're looking at the stage, I would be on your left, which we call stage right. So uh, stage right, I don't know if anybody knows this, but stage right would be looking out at the audience, your right-hand side. So it'd be house left. So anyway... I'm sitting behind the speaker stacks and I was talking to this old guy, old guy, an older man than me. And come to find out, it was Ronnie's dad, Lacey. And I didn't know that at the time until I started talking to him. <laughs> he was so nice. He asked me so many questions, man. He was just like, he was so, so nice to me and i'll never forget that but the the part that i really want to share with you is the part that they're playing and they're playing along and, and you know and, and i'm having a hard time hearing lacy because we're right i mean if anybody ever's been to a skinnered concert you know how loud it gets so I'm sitting there trying to listen to Lacey, and we're trying to have a conversation while the band's playing, which is ridiculous, <laughs> but I enjoyed it. But the part I'll never forget is 
Oh, my God. Billy Powell, they ended a song. Billy Powell got up from the piano, walked over to me, grabs my hand, and pulls me on stage, brings me up on stage, and just a minute. Anyway, he pulls me on stage, and then Artemis got off the drums, and he came around the drums and got on stage next to me with Billy. And then Leon came over, and they all hugged me right on center stage at the summit. I'll never forget that. It's like when he pulled me on stage, man, it was like my feet never touched the stage. I was that high off the stage the whole entire time i couldn't believe it and then artemis gets on the microphone and he says hey houston Texas, we got one of your own right here one of the boys that was with us i don't know if that's the exact words he used but it, it was incredible i mean it it made up for 10 years of pain i'm telling you man it was unbelievable. Oh, oh my God! I'll not just, uh, you know, I, I I think that the the summit at that time. I think they, I know there was video going on then, and they probably somebody's got a tape of it somewhere. I sure would like to get a hold of that tape. So if anybody knows how to get a hold of it, that'd be great, because I sure would put it on my channel. That was a, a wonderful, wonderful time with Skinner. But that was pretty much, you know, it for me. I mean, that was just kind of, that was the end. And I think I saw him maybe 20 years later. Not sure exactly how many years later. Probably or 15 years later. I never saw him again for a while. And, but, so, yeah, so, I forgot that, um, I, I had just had a hip replacement, so I was on crutches, and this was the first time I was going to go see him again since the tribute, or the 10-year reunion, so I, <laughs> I called a friend of mine who works a lot of the shows, and this was going to be out north of town at the place called the Woodlands Pavilion or Cynthia Woods Mitchell Pavilion. And so it was going to be Peter Frampton and Leonard Skinner and I forget who else. I think Shooter Jennings maybe. But anyway, my buddy was going to get me backstage. You know, so I'm standing there. You know, nobody's going to let me in because nobody knows who I am. It's been several years, and nobody knows who I am, and nor do they care. But my buddy that knew me did. And then my other buddy, Steve, who was in the crash with me, he was still working shows, and he was there. <clears throat> Sorry, excuse me. And so the guy that I had asked to get me in, he says, yeah, man, I'll leave your name at the door. Don't worry, I'll, I'll leave your name at the gate. No, nah, no, nah, don't worry, don't worry. So I'm standing there and standing on crutches. I can't get a hold of anybody, and nobody's going to let me in. So at this time, I had just had this hip, hip replacement, and I had also gotten married. Now, I didn't, I got married, but this girl that I married was with me. So she's standing there. It's in July or August. It's hotter than Hades. And we're standing out there, and she's sweating. I'm sweating. And we can't get in, which was really, oh, I was so mad. So this guy that I had talked to, to was going to put my name back there and put passes back there for me. Well, he forgot to do it. Imagine that. So... So anyway, he I see him get in a vehicle and drive out of the gate right past me. I said, hey, man. <laughs> so he said, he stops. And he goes, oh, oh, hey, Howie, I forgot, man. 
So he said, oh, don't worry about it. You'll get in and just takes off. I was like, oh, you no good son of a gun. Oh, I was so mad. Well, make a long story short, I did get in. We got in. And so somebody led me right back to uh, is a room back there where people, where they count the money and stuff. They put us in this room. There wasn't no money, of course. but And then... There's a back door into where the dressing room is. And so somebody, <clears throat> I'm sorry, pardon me. So somebody opens the door, and who is it but Peter Frampton. Peter Frampton opens the door, and he says, Mark, how you doing, mate? And comes up and gives me a big old hug. And I was like, oh, man, Peter Frampton, how are you doing, man? So he was... That was so, that, that made up for me waiting all that time at the gate, you know. And then we got to see Frampton. But, you know, we were backstage. We saw Frampton from the side of the stage. And we saw, and then Skinner comes out. And we got to see them from the side of the stage. But that's a, a, another little Skinner story I just thought I'd throw in there. But also, to add to that, you know, y'all wanted the Leonard Skinner story. So I thought that was a pretty good one. I wish I could read more of this pass, but it says all access in the Rosington Band, and uh, uh, I, it's just hard to read. Perhaps maybe I can figure out something, but it was really, really cool. That, like I said, made up for 10 years of pain. So I hope you all enjoy this story. And like I told you, I'll be coming out with more stories. You know, I don't know if I have too many more <laughs> Skinner stories. But I got a lot more stories. So, y'all bear with me, and I'll be pumping them out as, as quick as I can. So, thanks a lot for watching. And please like and share and subscribe, all that stuff. Thank you. See you later. Bye.